2011, 2012 moment thing for this one. Yeah, we want to make the uh, melancholy and the infinite sadness of uh, two guys talking to each other comedy records. Yes. That's exactly. basically what we want to do. So uh, what we're going to do is, in fact, maybe that should be it. It's going to be uh, uh, melancholy and, and the infinite, infinite sadness of comedy records featuring oh, Bri Bri and the Gerbs. Yeah. Uh, and so we're going to have one that's completely full of boner jokes, another one where we just discuss insurance fraud. Well, and, uh, and, and the flip side is, uh, you know, that was what it was with um, Digital Underground. They had their, their album Sex Packets, which was side A was the safe side, side B was the sex side. So we'll do the same thing. Sure. Uh, oh, but, but so the, anyway. re- the, the, the reason I brought it up is because why not have stuff like these tracks be like the whole third side to it. Why don't we have a third side? Why don't we have side one, side two, and then the rest be all awesome remixes like this, these word salads. Oh, of, yeah, of our, yeah, of yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, the, 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 the Nash Com stuff. Something that we had, we had talked about um, with Night Attack was that, you know, like in the grand tradition of comedy albums, like there is, is regularly a musical element, you know, like there are, are great sketch comedy albums like Adam Sandler's done and, and, you know, like Chris Rock has done, you know, uh, stuff with like sketch interludes and stuff like that, that all have, you know, musical stuff. And like, that would be a perfect fit for night attack. So, uh, I would like to, can can we go ahead and and extend, extend the offer to, to Neshcom that will give Neshcom the unfinished, uh, he has to be sworn. In fact, in fact, actually, uh, and, and, uh, whoever wants to, paint something together, you know, and is willing to be sworn to secrecy, then hit us up on, on email. However, you realize well, that, I, I mean, I don't, I want to just, I want to restrict it right now. Really? I want to give Nash you, don't want, you don't want to let Soundwave have a, uh, no IT alter. No Soundwave. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm like guys who have done stuff for us in the past. Sure. If you got bona fides, I just don't want, you know, old, you know, Barbitch with Philippe to roll up in here asking to, <laughs> to get the album for free. Uh, all right, fair enough, fair enough. See, the R.G. Bradbury, I'll do it, he said, just to get a copy. Yes, exactly. You realize what I'm afraid uh, this will become. It's like anything musical, because, I mean, you rightly so have pointed out that there have been a number of... Um, albums where the one music track thrown on at the end has been what everybody remembers about it but unfortunately i don't know how well those age like i think about this i think about do you you know what that is no really you you don't know what that is boogie in your butt yeah boogie in your butt yeah This is a whole song about stuff you can stuff up your ass. That's great. <laughs> is it? Is it? I mean, are you not laughing right now? I, I'm I, sorry, Brian. I don't know what it is like in your weird world where laughter equals not something uh, that you want to do on a comedy album. People are saying it's the best song ever, so maybe that is what we want. That's our legacy. 30 years from now, it could be... Uh... <laughs> Put Butcher Brant in our bud. <laughs> now, I will say this, that there are a couple tracks on, on the album that I would have been totally okay with going forward that I've since gotten a little little gun shy on. Oh, really? Wait, wait. Yeah, I, I kind of want to pull back on you. You want to you share one of those? Because you, you put the hard sell on me for some of these. Wait. Like... On that, I want that I demanded to have them on there. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if they're the same ones because, like, there are ones where, like, oh, yeah, bro, it's perfect. It's it's art. This is the Beatles. We're bigger than the Beatles and Jesus combined. And I was like, I don't know. And I'm wondering if those are the same tracks. If it's a story about you, then no. If it's a story about me, then maybe. Oh, dude, don't you take away the thrice foldishly story. Nah, I'm a little, I'm getting a little. Oh, uh, come on, dude. The more dude. I think about it, the more I'm like, ah. can, can I say the title of the track? Because the title of the track is decided. What? 
can I say the title of the track for the one that I think you're talking about? That that because it's it's one of the few times where I think it should be the punchline for the track or for the joke should be the title of the track. All right, go ahead and say it. Gay probation. <laughs> yes. Is that the one that you're worried about? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so good. So good. You know what? Here, in exchange, in exchange, I will figure out a way to draw Bonnie in for an equally awkward conversation on my end. What do you mean, draw Bonnie in for? All right, well, here, listen. Well, because because well, you know, well, you know, well, I'm not gonna just randomly confess something awesomely awkward. But if I get Bonnie in here, like she could be all like, you know, and he thought he was so hot and he looked like a chipmunk the whole time, you know, or you know, whatever. That was my impression of Bonnie, by the way. That's how That's she talks. That's a really good one. I, 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 it seemed like she was there. <laughs> uh, now, people are saying uh, Jerry was on 30-day gay probation and they wouldn't let him stay. No, that wasn't it. Um, That's my favorite. That's my favorite track in the whole thing. If, if you want to keep, keep Special Massage the way it is right now, I'm going to demand that we keep gay probation the way it is. There'll be a discussion. There'll be a discussion. <laughs> I think... I think more than anything, I think I want to just I want to I want to obscure names more. Oh I think that, like, my god! I think right. I think that's that's really what makes me. I, I'm not worried about embarrassing myself. I just don't want because if again this becomes the success that the last one was, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Like I don't want to like have it like oh yeah by the way <laughs> I told that story and I used your name. <laughs> LOL. Oh sure. Well, and, and because there was a bit of that in the last album as well there was like well i wish your co-host hadn't said this thing about me oh yeah uncle bilbo was upset that brian called him a pedophile <laughs> okay a I, 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 in the context the in track. the context i was fantasy I, I say fantasizing i was running off on a flight of fantasy uh, there's no excuse tell uncle bilbo i say i'm sorry i have oh, i've apologized profusely and he's still kind of upset <laughs> well whatever dude it's like me making a I didn't know who he was. I never read I know. him. I know. All right. Um, All right. Well, you want to know what? I think that brings uh we've, we've uh, hit the end of our show notes. So uh, <laughs> I think we're uh, wrapping it up here. We put a lot of effort into this episode. Uh, we want to thank um, the Butcher Brants. I've been crafting this shiv while you guys were talking. It's time <laughs> to go and I'm so depressed and I'm going to spend the rest of the week in bed. I love that it's a real thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, 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 hold on. For the first time ever, I forgot that we have a minute movie draft. Hold on, movie draft minute. Let's let's hear it. Go. Welcome to Movie Draft Minute for the week of December 3rd, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. With four more movies left, can you believe we're this close to the end of the draft? Here comes this week's rankings. Tom Eric's in sixth place with $116.6 million. Padre Robert Balasar's in fifth place with $195.4 million. Justin Robert Young's in fourth place with $229.3 million. Scott Johnson's in third place with $298.6 million. Sarah Lane's in second place with Killing Them Softly bringing in $6.8 million this week, bringing her total to $307.4 million. And holding in first place with $387.5 million, it's Brian Brushwood. And that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of December 3rd, 2012. Dude, can I just say, first of all, thank you very much to Roberto Viegos, not only for doing the Movie Draft Minute along with Blender MF, but also the fact that, uh, did you know that Roberto physically drove out to my house to help us assemble the scam packs? Like no! we're, we're so swamped. Uh, he's the best. 404 is the best. No, Vincent 404 is amazing. And uh, uh, I guess I should go ahead and point out that uh, uh, if you are interested in doing the scam pack thing, if you know somebody who digs scam school, then uh, we just ordered enough parts to make about 300 more of them. But you have to get your order in by the 12th. That's uh, what, eight days from today as we record this. And then uh, if you get it in by the 12th, then we'll be able to make it happen for you. Uh, but it's it's amazing, dude. It's like I'm so excited. Now that all of them are arriving and the, the glasses have not shattered, we figured out a way to pack everything to do it. 
It's got everything has a personal touch. My daughters helped assemble everything. I'm very excited about it. Uh, but separately, let's talk about the draft. Okay. Because you earned yourself a stake from one John Tilton. I did. I sincerely think that I have a chance to win this go round. I think you got a pretty good shot. Uh, so is Sarah tapped out or does she have one more? I don't know. Let me jump it in. I'm going to go to draft.nsfwshow.com. Here's what Sarah has. Sarah has Red Dawn killing them softly. She is out of movies. So she's she's at number two at that at that point. Um, Scott still has uh, La Miz, but the question is: Is La Miz is going to uh, is La Miz going to make ninety million dollars? No way. I don't know. Really? Okay, so we'll we'll put Scott is still in it. I'd say Scott's in the running. To me, Scott's in the running more than Tom is. Okay, all right. Uh, Scott to me is your chief person. Zero less. Zero dark uh, thirty. Okay, but here's the thing. I've I'll always. I'll tell you what. I don't think I'm like. I don't think I'm like out out. No, I don't think you are either. Zero. This will be the closest of all of the movie drafts we've had so far. Because uh, what am I? What am I back now? You're tapped. Yes. So you're correct. not going to go past much past what you are now. What are you at now? Uh, I'm at 388. However, however, uh, rec- uh, Lincoln was in the top three and made a million dollars today. So you figure it's got a million dollars. I, I think I'm going to drift over 400 million total, which means when it comes to Tom, uh, Tom is totally out of movies. All he has is The Hobbit, and the Hobbit to surpass me has to make two hundred and like ninety million dollars, which I don't think it's gonna do. Uh you know, I don't know. The reviews are good on it. People seem to people seem to be ready to return to Middle Earth. We will see, but it is gonna be tight. Uh, I I actually I kinda like my chances. Although I think we're gonna get we're gonna get lay mizzed. I think Scott's gonna dream a dream tonight that he has won the movie draft. Oh, you think he's he's really got the goods? Ninety million dollars for Lemiz. The last Lemiz only made like 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 forty million dollars. No singing though. Yeah, and that one. that was like it was like people bitched about it. Like this is going to be like look at I would judge it more by like Chicago or like a super popular star laden musical like that. Yeah, how how much did Chicago make? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take a wild guess at 130 million. Okay, let me try. Box Office Mojo. Box Office Mojo. Hold on. I'm going to call it up. We're going to call you out. See if you're right. Uh, Lincoln keeps making like a million dollars a day, man. That's huge. Uh, yeah, but so is, so is Bond and what's it called? No. Uh, oh, wow. Chicago made... A hundred and seventy million dollars. See, that's what I would compare it more to than like the last late mids. Yeah, that's rough. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, Brant, Butcher Brant, you got anything you want to say before we wrap things up? Uh, I love you guys. I'm, I'm so happy to be part of the team now. Are you? Very yeah. seriously, Brant, welcome aboard, buddy. Thanks, Justin. Yes. Uh, what's your Twitter so that everybody can follow uh, you? At Gatowag. That's G A T O W A G. Gatowag. G A T O W A G. Love you guys. Do me a favor. See you next Tuesday. Then do it out of fire. Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSFW. I love you. Oh, NSFW. I love you. Somebody sent me a link to something called Twit Rolling. I don't know what this is. What? Going. Uh, all right, hey guys, I do have to go because I got to get this stupid game. And by stupid game, I mean an amazing game for everybody who's going to play it tomorrow on the road. Uh, also, I have to sleep.
because I need to get up at like six in the morning tomorrow. Wait, so. but whoa, whoa, whoa! You're saying that wasn't a bit the Audio. whole thing about you, like, oh, oh, I'm so tired, I gotta go to sleep. What happened? I said that wasn't a bit. That whole thing about you needing to go to sleep. No, like I really am running on two hours sleep, and I still have like four hours of work right, to you go. Got it, man, get out of here. Go to bed. I love you. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, do I need to do billboards or whatever? Well, I was I was going to take care of it if you didn't want yes, to. Yes, no, whatever. please. Right, I would love you. All right, the, the, and then I'll do that. Let's do this. Adios. Um, so long, asshole. We never loved you. Boop. And now he's gone and dead. Brant, you want to replace Justin Robert Young? Uh, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Here, talk into it again. Okay. Uh, sure. Yes. All right. Why not? That's good. All right. Uh, if somebody could email me, email me the <laughs> people are all getting offended. You can never replace Justin Robert Young. Let me. Look up the ad reads. Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> what do we call in this episode? There was one moment when I totally remember Justin accidentally saying what would be the perfect name for this episode. Did I imagine that? No, that happened. There you go. Padre SJ. Here we go. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Pond5, the world's stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker looking for video, photos, illustrations, music, sound effects, after effects, templates, or 3D models, check out Pond5. And for an exclusive 53... <clears throat> sorry. For an exclusive 50 free stock media files, go to... Go to pond5.com slash NSFW. Then you can chop it together. What else, Padre SJ? What else you got? 53s. 50 freeze. Dude, Padre SJ may be the best person who ever lived. <clears throat> This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to create a high quality website, blog, or online portfolio. You, oh, well, <laughs> sorry. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog, website, or online portfolio for a free trial and 10% off your first person. Fuck. Oh, no. I did it, didn't I? All right, are we ready? <laughs> all right, uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Let me find it. Where did it go? Post. All right, here we go. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website, blog, or online portfolio for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on a new account. Head on over to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW12 because you're 12 steps better than everyone Okay, else. Brian, there's a new billboard. What? Really? Yeah. 
Huh. Padre Este's copy is correct, but there's an additional line you need to add. Okay, I'm ready. What is it? And they recently launched a developer platform for complete code control. Complete toad control? Toad control. <laughs> toad control. Yeah, so that comes after NSFW 12. Whoa. And they recently launched a developer platform for complete code control. Code control, not toad. You can't control toads with your mind. All right, here you we can go. Lick them. Sure. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website, blog, or online portfolio for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts. Head on over to squarespace.com and use the offer code NSFW12. And what, what was the other part? And they recently launched a developer platform for code control. All right, yeah. And they recently offered a launched, launched a new platform for code control. <clears throat> and and wait, wait, wait. they recently launched a developer platform for complete <laughs> code control. Okay. John, are you promising me that there's no way that we could just have you randomly have your voice show up and say exactly <laughs> that after I do the opening? That would be amazing. Okay. And they recently launched a developer platform offering complete code control. Excellent. Close enough. Sure. All right. Here you go. What do we call in this episode? And they recently. You did, did you do the Pound 5 billboard? No. Yes, I did. I already did. Whoopsie doodle. Was that the name of the episode? So I hired an axe murderer. I like it. So I hired an axe murderer. That's pretty good. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> this is NSFW episode 156, recorded on December 4th, 2012. So I hired an axe murderer. And you'll need to teach. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by a very bleary-eyed, very caffeinated, very distressed, tired, and otherwise out of sorts Justin Robert Young, where the two of us do a live stream night attack. That's right. The two of us confessing, bearing our souls to you, the internet, in which we discover which of us would kill another person, what we're afraid of, and all other forms of shenanigans and beside, be, behind the... <clears throat> So close. So close. So courageous. Let's try it again. On this episode of NSFW, I am joined by the illustrious Justin Robert Young. It's just the two of us. We talk about what's in our hearts, what's on our minds, what we're afraid of, and where things are headed. It's all coming up on this episode of NSFW. Also, there's a murderer. Maybe. Maybe. But am I joking? I don't know. You have to watch. Murderer, butcher, you name it. It's coming up. I'm going to take off my shirt and punish you with it. That's a keeper. <laughs> it's not an effective way to kill somebody, Brian. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, right on, man. Dude, what a good time. All right, let me stop this. Let me go to this. Let me stop this. And let me save these. Dude, did you have a good time, John? Apparently not. Yes, I did. Always. All right. All right. You know, you'll have to patronize me. Uh, I am saving the local recordings right now. 12.04. What do we call this episode? So I married an axe murderer. Axe. 
Max. I'll just do. I'll just write Brant. All right, twelve, twelve, oh four. Brant. There we go. And then I'll save it again. As soon as it finishes, record. Oh shoot. That's unfortunate. I think I just screwed this things up. No, yeah, I screwed it up. I'm gonna have to cop it over. Uh Okay, look, I, I, I got to run because I accidentally saved this as a WMV, which means I got to translate it over to an MOV and get it over to you guys. But I love you. Here's the belt. I thought. Oh, thank you. Brant did a great job. And you are amazing as always. Thank you so much, man. All right. See you Bye, John. <laughs>